Hi, I'm Mandy Gold and I'm a makeup artist and have been a makeup artist for about 20 plus years. When I first started, I was very lucky. My brother, I went to my brother who's a film director and said, I want to do makeup, please employ me. And he went, yes, okay. And I didn't know anything about makeup. I could do makeup on myself, but I did, had never done makeup on someone else. Anyway, I went to work for him and I, would, I seemed to be able to do it. And then I met this amazing makeup artist called, whose name I can't remember, Tina Earnshaw. And she took me under her wing and I became her assistant and I learned tons. I realized I didn't know anything. So I found it very difficult to because of learning and watching other people, I thought it would be nice for me to pass my information, my knowledge on to somebody else, Expect, especially to do makeup for more mature skins. So here I have the youngest mature skin I've ever made up. So what I thought I'd do, just to show you, to do really quick makeup, um, and what I plan to do is to go through my kit. It's what I use to do makeup. Everyone has their own things that they like to, to use. But there are certain things in my kit which I think every makeup artist should have it in their kit. And also for people, for ladies who like to do their own makeup and they want to have a nice makeup to use. So this is very quick. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of foundation cream um, if you take a foundation cream and you think it's a bit too thick for the skin, just put a little bit of moisturizer with that. So I'm going to, the way I do this is I check the skin color there. And my thing is, if it disappears, it's the right color. So it does. So when I start, I work from top to bottom and I do the nose first. <laughs> But you want to do a little bit on the on the forehead and try not to use your fingers for this as most women will it's just the heat of your finger changes the texture of the whole thing she says using her finger to blend in and all you want to do is just blend it so work down the face and you don't want much Excuse my head. I'd forgotten what it's like. I'm going to get you to just tip your head down. That's that. Come down the face, down the nose, and only take as much foundation cream as you need to use and blend as you go along. Mind the hairline can always blend that out. The thing with makeup is you can always add. It's the hardest thing if you make a mistake and you've got to take it away. So lips together. I always take the foundation cream across the lips. I do this if I was doing photographic makeup. It just gives you that one color. Also, it's really good when you come to put lipstick on. Oh, look up for me with your eyes okay I have a love of brushes I'm in love with makeup brushes and I have about two three hundred brushes I don't think you can have enough um, and my thing was never to use the same brush twice on somebody and I convinced myself I needed millions of brushes the only problem is having to clean them at the end of the day <laughs> but then I uh, but I do love my brushes and I'm going to take it down and just take it and just I normally use I must be honest I normally use my uh, sponges for this but this is a quickie, she says, quickly. 
and that's it. Normally there's a mirror there so you can walk around and look at that, bloody brilliant. <laughs> um, so be careful with your forehead, with your hairline and if you want to use your fingers, use your fingers. But once you've put it on, you must make sure that you blend it so you don't have areas where makeup just sticks. There. What I do when I'm doing makeup, when I've done the foundation cream, I just turn around here and then come back, look in the mirror, and the first thing I see, if I don't think it's right, then I'll change it. So I'm going to just go over this, take some of this off because I think it's really heavy on you. You've got such beautiful skin, you don't need this much makeup. So it's good to just blend it. You, it's nice to also to see some of the skin coming through. There, and this will set it. Have you had your makeup done before? Once for my sister's wedding. Oh, what was it like? Now, can I want you to go like that? And I'll talk to you like that. Okay. Okay. What was it like? Was it nice? Yes, yeah, she was a very lovely lady. Um, very meticulous, methodical. She had a bride and three bride bridesmaids to do, and she was under pressure, but she did it, and she was lovely. At she was nine months pregnant. Oh my goodness! She couldn't really get in very close. Oh gosh, blimey! She's a better man than me. Okay, so I'm not going to put a lot of powder on your face. Um, but what I am going to do is just bring some of the colour out. So I like to mix colours. I never use just one colour on the face. So I take a mixture of lots of different colours. Not too bright. And smile for me. And it's a really, really light touch. The lighter the touch, less you put on, the less hassle you've got afterwards. Where you think, oh cry, okay, I've just done put too much makeup. Just a hint. And if you put too much makeup on, just get um, a, um, a makeup sponge. And the makeup sponge will just take it down a bit. So underneath your eye, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer. Now there's a way and a way of doing this, all right? Okay. I'll show you a tip. So when you um, look in the mirror, I, I get a brush that I like. Oh, I'll, get, I'll be a bit more prepared. Right. Say this is your mirror. Okay. What I want you to do is drop your chin to your chest a bit more. Can you? There? Yeah. Now look up. And what happens? The light hits the area that needs to be done. You don't want to do it outside of that because okay. you're just highlighting it. You want to keep it in that area there. Alright. I'll charge you later for the, for the tips. <laughs> tips come normal. Okay. So I always do a very, just keep it really, really light. I use a clean brush for every, um, I don't know what the expression is, every stroke of my, the makeup that I do. Look up, please. It's really weird doing this without a mirror. You are? Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's not a problem. So, my biggest um, advice I could give any, any makeup artist or anyone who wants to be a makeup artist, 
because everyone thinks they can do makeup. Um, but when you're working in films and television, you have to do makeup that might have, that will stay there for like 10, 15 hours, depending on what the shoot is. Sure. So you want to, the application is really, really important. So things like when you work around the eye, mm -hmm. you keep your brush down, you make someone look up, and you do very, very slow, long strokes. Because if you, if you come to someone's eye, it's very threatening. So if I started to yeah. do all that, it's very uncomfortable, and chances are your eyes will run. So I have another little trick that I sometimes use, is to stand behind whoever I'm making up, and I hold, I normally, I normally have a clean yeah. mirror, <laughs> okay? So I hold it at an angle, Oh wow. And you get the light reflecting. Mm -hmm. It's different here because of the light coming from outside. Yeah. But here you can see it's um it's good. So next I'm just gonna blend a little bit more. It is difficult because there's different two different lights mm -hmm. coming. So powder. A little bit of powder. Never hurt anybody. Um, can I get over there yeah. to get it? Have I got enough? Just unclip your microphone. Um, I'm trying to figure out where it is, the makeup. But... Nah, here we are. So, this is my go to makeup. I love this makeup. This is my favourite makeup. So, what I thought I'd do at the end of this is to give you a breakdown of what I've used. I like to mix, everything I do is mixing colours, whether it's lippy, mm -hmm. eyeliner, everything. I like to, because no one has one colour. So I'm going to do a little tiny, I take a bit of powder and I don't blow on the end. Okay, the thing to do with, with powder is to, to work it into the brush. And again, you work down, so you don't have too much because you want a bit of a sheen and just come down. My, my, I remember my father saying, take a little because you can always take, go back and take more. Clever. And I would always invest in good brushes because the cheaper the brush, the more they fall a fall apart. A little bit of, I'm going to put a tiny bit of blush on you. And for this I just want to, can you smile for me please? I think Pablo's jealous. <laughs> Stop it. This is quite nice. If you put a little bit of um, um, of, of a colour of some kind, warm your face up, and just take it over your brow like a bit of blusher. I would never have thought to do that. It just why why it would. I don't know, just what the face looks good. You have, um, um, because you, you wear glasses, mm -hmm. you have you have what I have is like a discoloration. Yeah. If I put too much um, makeup on you, yeah. it, it will start after a while looking like that. So I'm going to leave that, right. all right? Um, but for the eyes, I think I have something that I can hit. Here we are. No. Here. I will be sorted out next time I do this. <laughs> Here we are. So what I do is I de decanted all my eyeshadows. 
all 3,000 of them yeah. and put them in different things. So I'm going to just put a tiny bit of a hint of a colour on your eye and I like to use a really big brush so I don't put too much on and this is, a, um, I love these colours. Nothing, I only ever use matte colours on, on a mature lady. Mm -hmm. Bit of pink. I have to say, it's really hard not to do this with a mirror. I'm quite nervous. Hmm. See, the thing is, if you're working in films and TV, mm -hmm. your makeup, the makeup that you do, yeah. will, might, you might put it on a five in the morning. Oh no. And it's still got to look as gorgeous and fresh ten o'clock at night. So you learn all these little tips. Do you wear makeup normally? No. Can you open for me? So it's really light, okay? <laughs> so what I might do as well is take a little bit of um, colour I think Pablo is trying to up, upstage me. So I'm going to take a little tiny bit of colour and put it round and darken. Look up for me. Tell me if this is uncomfortable. This just make you know what would help you mm -hmm. if you had your eyebrows or your eyelashes tinted. I have done that before. I hated having it done. I couldn't, I couldn't bear the stuff on my eye. No, it does burn. Burns. Okay, so. What I'd like you to do is look down to your lap. Please. Thank you. So I've done a base of colour and now I'm just going to bring your, give some definition. And then As you don't wear a lot of makeup, it would be pointless putting loads on. All, all I think with you is just to enhance your, enhance your very pretty looks that you already have. You're welcome. Pay as you go out. Okay. Um, and I'm going to um, take. I can't find it, but I have a special brush that I I use to go through the eyebrows. Um, here we are. And this takes all the powder out, cleans it all up. And again, I would use a really nice, very soft colour to go through your eyebrows. As long as I can find the right brush. As you can see, I'm well prepared. And I can use the same. You want it a little bit warm. And when you do your eyebrows, go up to begin with, with the brush. Yeah. You follow the way the eyebrow grows. And what you don't want to do, because you've got beautiful eyebrows. <laughs> you don't pluck them, do you? Nope. Thank God. It's the worst thing you can do. Makes me jump. I can't um, even see mine anymore. By the end of summer, mine are shot white. Oh, I can imagine. Someone tried to dye my eyebrows recently. <laughs> Felt really odd because <laughs> I hadn't seen them for about three years. So that's that's all you do. It's just a little bit and you take it a little bit down the eye, side of the eye. And, and that's it. With a little bit of um, mascara, I would ask, do you want me to put a little bit of mascara on? Yeah, yeah. for it. I may have to um, just very gently 
come over here what's this do I think this is mascara it's just I, I, I took everything out of my uh, no okay. right so when you do mascara yeah number one don't do that you know why Plum. because you you pop it you you're pumping what's the word you're putting air into oh, the yeah. mascara so it'll just dry out okay so yeah. look up for me and i just use the tip of the brush so you don't have that much on your brush the more you take off the better it is and when you do your makeup when you come to do the top hold the mirror down like that you should get your eyelashes dyed I have done that would make a massive difference they're just very very straight am i not too good okay look down don't close your eye there's no sensor on pablo I always you make, make all makeup artists work and use the back of their hand as their makeup mixer, their palette. I cannot tell you how many times I've come home and I've forgotten and I've put my hands in my pocket. I've ruined clothes. You've got a lovely face to make up. Thank you. It's really nice. It's a lot, it's it's a while since I've done someone's makeup, so and I open there. So I don't think you've got, actually got the most amazing white teeth. <laughs> God oh. blimey, they're gorgeous. So I think I'm going to just put a little bit of lip balm on your on your mouth with a bit of colour. <clears throat> she says, where am I put it? Um, I am more, more completely organised when I'm working. But I still uh, give up. Here we are. Now, you can have a lip pencil mm -hmm. around your mouth and that will keep it going for forevermore but I think your lips are so lovely here we are your lips are so nice they're a bit dry at the moment I think right, this will make them cool she says hopefully so again I like to mix colours so you don't need, oh that's a lovely colour it's a long time since I've seen these. So, lips together, but just relax your mouth. I must be honest. Um, when I see ladies of an age, and I've been looking online and seeing ladies who are my age, a hundred and something, and um, and you see them wearing tons of makeup, and you think it's such a shame because you can totally miss you miss their what they they look like before, and you can imagine. Mm -hmm being with some guy and he goes blimey when you take it all off I think you should in, in, encourage and in, 
invest in what you're wearing. So your hair dictates mm -hmm. also what colour lip you wear. You want to bring everything out, your eyes. Your eyes are just the most beautiful blue colour. Thank God. Mm -hmm. And the Okay, and what I do is if I normally have a, a, some tissues, blot it, mm -hmm. another coat, end of that. That's cool. all the end. So that's that's my very quick. Oi! I'll show you. I always put this on because, apart from it, it protects your clothes. But what happens? Is the white if you've got if you're going to do makeup if you put a white on yeah. a white top of thing it reflects on your face very clever I know I'm just so brilliant and and that is it I wouldn't put any powder on your face because your face is quite dry yeah what do you think do you like it I like it I do you know you're the first person I've made up for some time now, well, I've really, really enjoyed her. Oh, Would you like right? to see her? Yes, well, hold on, I'll just try and find a mirror. I know there's a mirror here somewhere. It's just I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. No. You have to have used one of these bloody things. Here, have. Excuse me, I just wipe it on my back for you. <laughs> You might need to hold it. Yeah. Oh wow. Whoa. That's incredible. I've yeah. never seen myself like that. I oh. must be honest, I might have used a shade lighter mm -hmm. because of the colour of your neck. Yeah. I think I went a bit mad with the powder and stuff. That's fine. But cool. Thank you, man. You don't have to say it's nice. I do. Because it is. But you have to pay. If you didn't, I do, and the other thing that's nice with what what's left on your brush, especially what you you're wearing, is to take it down and put some powder there and stuff. Bring the colour down. But this is easy to cover. Are you subconscious about it? Are you conscious about no, it? Not really. Because. Um, in my mind, you should just, it's there, I'd yeah. leave that. I had it done when I was so little, I don't even... Well, it's also part of your... Exactly. Well, I think you look very pretty. Thank you very much. You will go to the ball. I will go to the ball. With him? Yes. With that man there? Yeah. <laughs>